Hello and welcome to another video. Today's one is kind of unexpected because check that out. We just got a couple of packages in and I don't remember ordering much. Um, I only remember ordering three fish and one can of fish food. So I don't know why there's two boxes. I think maybe that one might be a shipment that I received from someone in Europe. So yeah, that, that might be it. Let's go and open this up and check out what we got in here. And check this out, we've got the two boxes right here. This one I'm super excited about because there's three fish in there that I've never seen before and I can't believe I managed to find them. This this is special and I, I just can't wait to see what's inside. And I gotta thank the seller so much because he helped me out big time and we might bring in more fish to this channel coming sooner than you think. And then in this box right here, I'm guessing this might be Pleco Ceramics. If you don't know them on Instagram, I'll put the link down below, but they're like Pleco specialists and they build caves, Pleco caves, as well as fish food, Pleco food. So I'm super excited to see what's in this box too and hopefully we can get some Plecos in the near future to start breeding. But also excuse all this mess that's going on around here because I'm working on the fish room. If you take a look at the fish room, the lights are off because we're out here really early in the morning. I don't want to turn the lights on because that'll just uh, shock the fish and it's not the time that the lights usually go on. So. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with the lights right now, they'll turn on later on in the day. But, you can see the fish room is slowly coming together, uh, some stuff changing, we're adding tanks here slowly, quarantining some fish right now, and yeah, it, it also looks different over there. I took down the tank that was there uh, and moved it over here, so yeah, today's video is not about all the tanks though, it's about these two boxes, so let's go and open them up. So we're going to start off with the fish. And this guy so was sent to me by Aquafield. They're in Tokyo. Uh, I've mentioned them before. They sent me my Manakapuru angel fish. So I ordered some food again because we've got Omega-1. I don't know if you guys know this food. I think it's from the US so this food is said to be pretty good so I'm trying this out. Well I, I already have one but my fish seem to like it so I got another one. And then we've got the papers right there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Take a look at this, guys. I can't believe that these fish are in Japan. I, I gotta try to breed them. Melanotania Bozmani Lake Itenjo Trio. And I don't think it's Lake Itenjo. I think it's from the village of Itenjo Lake Uder, if I'm not mistaken, but we've got three of them in there. You can see them swimming right there. Bozmani from Itinjo. Those fish are just incredible. The reason why I wanted these fish so much, they're like number one on my list right now, so I'm surprised that I found these and not the other ones that were on my list, but these fish, the reason why I want them so much is because I saw Gary Lang's fish room video that Aquarium Co-op did and when I saw these fish, I just knew that I had to one day get them and try to breed them. Let's take a look at how good these fish look, even from just being in the bag. They're gonna color up so much more once they get in the tank. But the bag does feel a little bit cold, so let's check the temperature of this thing. Let's check it out. 20.8, which is a little bit on the cooler side, so not really worried because this was shipped out yesterday and it arrived today, so less than a day. Let's go and start acclimating these fish. All right, so this is the tank that they are going in. Fully heated. Oh my goodness, the water. Oh man, that, that is, that is su super dangerous. I can't believe it. The water is right. Take a look at that. Right at the rim of the tank. It's too much water in there, so I'm gonna have to release some. And I built this system where I just turned this valve and water drains out through the back so I don't know how well you can see that because it's dark but it goes down into the, the drain so okay that's way too dark so the temperature of the bag water is 20 degrees the tank water is 25 25.5 we've got an auto heater in there so right in the back you can see. So while the fish are being acclimated, I'm gonna open 
this second package up and we're gonna take a look at it. I, I might not go into full detail about this because I want to make another video for that but let's go and see what we have inside and I'm pretty sure this is from Pleco Ceramics so I'm super excited for this package and I'm always super excited for any package that arrives but yeah that's that's just how it is. So how on earth do you even open this thing? This box is weird. One eternity later. This is the first time I've ever dealt with this. I can't manage to open this box. To open this up. Wow. Wow, that's incredible. That is an incredible shipment. Thank you so much, Yuri. Really appreciate this and can't wait to use some of these products out, but just take a look at what he sent me. This is this is amazing stuff. Pleco food. Tablets. Tablets. DIY paste. I'm I'm super excited for this one. I can't wait to use the paste. DIY paste. Wow. Thank you so much. All right, so here's just a sample of a couple things uh, out of the box. We've got a leaf. These are all ceramic, by the way, so if you drop them, they may break, so you gotta be careful with them. So this is really cool because Pleco babies will hide in this. I've seen it on Pleco Ceramics Instagram and YouTube, really cool product. Then we've got the cave. This is one of their probably best sellers. Uh, super popular cave. You've got the S size, the M size, and I don't know if there's another size, but I've got these two out right now. We've got the natural cave. This one is also really cool. Looks like a fallen piece of wood in the water or something like that, so really cool looking cave. And then we've also got a cichlid stone right here. So any of you who likes African cichlids or, or epistograms or stuff like that, yeah, you've got a nice rock. There. Yuri, thank you so much for sending all this stuff over. I can't wait to try them out and I'm definitely going to make a separate video on these Pleco caves, the Pleco food, and I'll be reviewing them. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make that video though because I've only got one Pleco with me right now. So that Pleco is right over here in that little cave, an L134 Leopard Frog Pleco. And I'm, I've only got one so I'm counting on that guy to review all the products for me. He's currently in this little cave uh, that I got for him. But yeah, I've got two caves in there right now for him. Both, I don't know what brand they are, but yeah, he seems to like this one. He's always in that cave, so he's gonna get some new caves. He's gonna be a really happy Pleco. Right now, if any of you guys are interested in using some of these products, I'll leave a link to Pleco Ceramics in the description and comments down below, so make sure you go check them out. All right, and back on to the Bosmani Rainbow Fish. It's really hard to see right now, this is a double bag, but the male in here is fired up. He's chasing the females, wanting to breed. Man, the color is just incredible. Let's get these guys into the tank now. Hey guys, so it's been a while since that last clip, probably about one and a half months since I got those rainbow fish and they've been doing amazing. And in the title of this video, I've, I might have put like the rarest fish or the r rarest, some, something along those lines, the rarest fish I've ever gotten. These are pretty rare to me. I've never seen them before and I, I think like I'm super lucky to have managed to find these because usually in the hobby you see the lake Ayamaru rainbow fish. They stay bluish, yellowish, but these ones, when they get into the breeding mode, they become like a very nice blackish color in the front section, the front half of the body, especially the males. And then their 
the back half of their body is a darker yellow color and I don't have really good videos of them with that color in this tank. First of all, they're still very young and usually I see them breeding at night when the lights are off so pretty hard to get footage of them right now and also this tank is all black so not much light uh, gets in this tank but I have managed to success well not successfully but I've got a bunch of eggs from these fish but I haven't been able to raise up fry and currently I've only got two little babies that have survived you can kind of see one swimming back there they're on the brine shrimp stage right now which is great but the thing that sucks is I've only got two of them uh, so hopefully with my next batch I've got a mop in there there's also a bunch of eggs in there I need to try to raise up those babies uh, in higher numbers next time and one of the main reasons why I didn't get babies to survive this time is because I was only feeding Sarah Micron it's this food this food right here it's a great food it's really really small in size perfect for these babies but really you'd want live food such as infusoria so I gotta get a culture started uh, with infusoria so hopefully I can get these two babies to survive they're in there it's just hard to see from this camera lens and the netting but you can kind of see them darting around there uh, they're on the brine trim stage as I mentioned so really really hope I can get them to survive the main goal with these fish you can see right now they're in this little 10 gallon tank really they're really kind of skittish still and it's only meant for breeding purposes so it's currently okay I would love to have plants in there and right now since they're small they, they can stay in this tank but they will get a little bit bigger and once I get more of these going I want to keep them in a three foot tank just have a ton of these Bosmani rainbow fish swimming around densely planted and hopefully I can get them to breed in there too so that's the main ultimate goal for these fish. First of all I want to thank Aquafield for sending me these amazing rainbow fish. I hope I can find some more unique rainbow fish from them in the future. Maybe some you've never even seen before so that'll be pretty interesting I think and to get them in a planted tank it'll make them look completely different and I'm super excited for that. I also want to thank Pleco Ceramics for sending me those Pleco caves, the Pleco food. Uh, I can't wait to use them out and hopefully breed some Plecos with them in those two tanks right there but I, I just can't find the Plecos I, I want to keep right now so hopefully I can find them soon and we can make more videos on them. In the meantime we are doing a 20% off on all Pleco Ceramics products so if you guys are interested just enter the code RIO uh, when you make your purchase. If you guys are interested in breeding Plecos, learning more about Plecos, you can also check out their uh, YouTube channel and their Instagram. I'll link both in the comments and description below so go check those out. As always I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Happy New Year. Happy Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays and I'll see you guys next year. See you. Peace.